Okay guys, before I get this video started, sorry for the different locale, but my room doesn't have any fucking light right now. It's too hot in there. I'm gonna do it downstairs. We got my cat Monty here, just sleeping. Don't mind him, he's shedding like a motherfucker. But anyway, we're gonna be talking about the housing, deluxe editions, what I thought. First of all, before we get into it, I wanna be talking about the price tags. These are put out by uh, Dark Horse, who are notorious for having some very, 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 very atrociously shitty, atrociously bad um, omnibuses. I'm looking at you, Gantz. I'm looking at Blade of the Immortal. I am Hero. I am a hero. Fuck, I don't know the name of it. Anyway, those paperbacks that are like three in ones or two in ones, the spines don't hold up. They're fucking dying. Meanwhile, we got these deluxe editions with these gorgeous spines. But we're not talking about those. If you're if you're dealing, if you want to talk about a, a deluxe edition or, or an omnibus that's a paperback put out by Dark Horse, don't talk about it. Don't buy it. If we're talking about these deluxe editions that are leather bound and fucking beautiful. Yes, buy them. They're worth the money on certain conditions and stipulations. We'll get to those right now. How much exactly are these? If you buy them retail, I have uh, here the Helsing. Deluxe Edition and the Berserk Volume 5 Deluxe Edition, which are the only ones we have out at the time. All of the ones that are going to put out like this, I'm going to buy because I'm insane for leather bound and deluxe editions. I, I just love them. But uh, if you buy them at, say, a Barnes and Noble, with COVID, you're not going to be doing that. But you're looking at $40 to $50. If you buy them on Amazon or Right Stuff, you're looking at around, on average, $35. If you pre order it, you're not going to get a deal. I've pre ordered these before and ended up paying $40 for them. Don't do that. Just wait a little bit. They're not gonna sell out, you know, they're, they're printing to demand because people are demanding these, <laughs> they really like them. So around $35, this uh, Berserk Deluxe Edition, when did they start coming out, like a year ago or something like that? They really changed the game. Um, people are loving these, they're buying them, so now Dark Horse came out with this. And this is the subject of this video, it's gonna be the Helsing Deluxe Edition, which in my opinion, personally, I love red. And I love all these religious undertones. Both of these series have huge re religious undertones. Not even really undertones. There's fucking in the direct plot. Uh, the cross there. Because it does deal a lot with the Protestant church and whatnot. I, I love this. It if it comes with like... Comes down to side by side. Like which one would I rather buy? <laughs> Is there a heavy little workout? I would buy this one. But if it comes down to like the material inside. If you could only buy one. I'd buy the Berserk one. But let's not talk about that. We're talking about Helsing. Okay, does it hold up? Personally, I read this whole thing. This is my first time ever getting past volume two of Helsing. I used to have the shitty Tokyo Pop editions. I had like the first three volumes and they're just in bad conditions. Tokyo Pop, uh, as it was, it wasn't a good release itself and they're out of print. So I just had some really nasty looking volumes. But anyway, now that we have these sublime fucking deluxe editions that you know you open them up and you're just met with some gorgeous artwork let's let's go ahead and give you guys a panel this is this is a good one i don't want to spoil anything but now that i'm met with this i can tell you that the first few chapters of helsing are not that great uh to be fair it is setting up the world it's setting up the universe and whatnot but it's not the greatest um it's pretty slow it's pretty uh, alright, but you have to also remember this is an older series, so at the time this was probably revolutionary in its own way. It paved the way for a lot of series, but it doesn't really start getting good until Sword Dancer, uh, chapter chapter 1 or 2 of Sword Dancer. Once everything else is introduced, it, it does get really good. Once all the organizations are introduced, it, it, it becomes a better series overall. We'll show a few more pages of artwork that are really really insane because it does have some really good artwork it's a uh, very how would I want to say it's very different and unique it's its own it's its own art style definitely definitely would I recommend this if you're not a huge Helsing fan no I would not recommend this the only reason I'm reading this is because I am a huge fan of deluxe editions I am a collector when it comes to manga so whenever they come out with these sorry I'm sweating a little bit Whenever they come out with these like special tone looking like deluxe editions, I am always gonna buy them because I love the way they look on my shelf. I love the way the artwork looks on these oversized pages. 
Uh, Helsing, in my personal opinion, after reading this first omnibus, I give it like a 7, 7.5 out of 10. It's good, not great, not my personal cup of tea. Even though it does hit on a lot of religious undertones, they're not even undertones at this point. You know, they deal with the Protestant church, they deal with uh, the Nazis and whatnot, their ideology. deals with a lot of real shit. It's actually crazy thinking about it because uh, it just recently came to light a few years ago. Uh, personally, I, I, I heard about it on the Joe Rogan podcast that uh, a lot of the Nazis actually fled before and after the war, the war, World War II, to uh, South America. And they talk about that in here. And this came out in the 90s. And I was like, holy fuck, this guy really knew what the fuck he was talking about. He was really into those conspiracy theories. And not even conspiracy the theories, they're the, the truth. So, I would only recommend buying Helsing Deluxe Edition if A, you're a huge fan of Helsing, buy this. B, you're a massive collector and like having really nice pieces in your collection, buy this. C, if you don't know if you are gonna like this series, I just wouldn't recommend picking this up because it is $35. Maybe pick it up and sell it if you don't like it, but it's a lot of money for one manga volume, and honestly, it isn't like the greatest thing in the world. It's not like the fucking, the next big, big shit. It's, it's good, it's good. Now, if you had an option to buy Berserk Deluxe Edition, and th this is like, I, I hope this gets my point across right here. Same thing goes for Berserk. If you're a huge Berserk fan, I would highly recommend buying these, 100%. If you're a huge collector fan, highly recommend buying these, 100%. If you don't know anything about Berserk, never read Berserk, I still recommend buying these. I still think it's worth the money. I still think you should put it in your collection. If you don't have a collection, this is where you start. I hope that got my point across. I don't feel the same way about Helsing. I don't. With Berserk, yes. Buy this. They're amazing. They're beautiful. And the story itself of Berserk is... Ever, oh god, there are some pages in there. It's everlasting, it is... Everyone knows Berserk is one, one of, if not the greatest manga of all time. Just by going off the art, just by going off the tragedy that is the story, that is the, the fall and rise of guts. I would highly recommend this. I know this is a Helsing video, but I feel like we have to do a juxtaposition to show you how I feel about this. Berserk thousand percent must buy in these deluxe editions <laughs> the only problem I just realized about this is Helsing I believe only ran for ten volumes these are three in one so theoretically they'll probably they're probably squeezing in three and a three and a three and a third uh, volumes in here so they're only gonna come out with three of them I, I believe don't fucking quote me on that if someone's more knowledgeable I fucking beg you to leave a comment down below if you know way more about this stuff than me or if you want to add your own personal take on it leave an essay in the fucking comments i don't i do care in a good way like i want to see that i want to see the conversation uh, and the dialogue grow in the comments do it add per, put, put your personal take on it this is my personal take that's why i'm putting out a video go for it dude and i will reply <laughs> these are only going to be three berserk three and ones there's about 40 volumes of Berserk, right? 39. Uh, so we're gonna get 13 of these. That's fucking insane. Think about it. 13 of these. Let's say you get lucky and average them at $30 a volume. So that's 300 and you th it's 400. Fuck, it's like $400. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's not that much. $400 is a lot if you were to drop it all in one go. But $400 split over the course of uh, four years that we're going to be releasing these, I think we're gonna, we get about three of these a year. Yeah, three or four of these a year. It's not that much. If we get four a year and you're dropping 120 bucks a year, 100, say 140 bucks a year, not the biggest deal in the world. Obviously, that's if you have a pretty good job or a job in which you're comfortable with. It's money, guys. It's money. At the end of the day, you the only one that knows your finances is you. The only one that knows if you can afford it is yourself. If you can, highly recommend picking up both of these. Uh, if you never started a manga collection or want to start a manga collection, I this is my the biggest tip I have: collect what you love, but also collect 
that which will stand the test of time. These are going to stand the test of time. If you ever get in a bind and need to get rid of your collection, these will retain their value far greater than the one piece paperback editions that you're buying at fucking Walmart or Amazon, you know, or Naruto or anything that's paperback that's just basic does not retain its value. If you buy a volume of manga at $9, My Hero Academia, and you're trying to sell it, if you're not selling that volume for five bucks and it's not in perfect condition, they're not gonna buy it off of you. That's how it goes. These are pretty easy to take good care of. I've had the Berserk ones for a while. I read them once, put them away in my shelf, look at them every once in a while, and they're in mint condition. If shit ever hits the fan, COVID gets really bad, I need money, I need to sell them. I bought them for around 35 bucks a pop, I could probably sell them for 25. I'm not gonna take a huge hit. Those are little things you gotta think about, but obviously I hope the best. I hope I never have to be in the position where I have to sell these beautiful bad boys. But, and I hope you as, as well never get in that position. But yeah guys, hope you guys like the video. We rambled at the end, but there's a lot of things you have to talk about when you talk about manga. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna end the video before I just keep going. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, yeah, you guys want like a, we'll do like a one last little, little look-see at this. Helsing Deluxe Edition. You can look at the back, look at the side. Flip through some pages. Whoa, I'm about to fucking drop it. Don't want to go all the way to the back because, you know, art's art, but we don't want to spoil the story. And if you want to see the Berserk one, if you're just curious, Berserk, again, personally, I'm a fan of red. So, if it comes aesthetic-wise, fuck, I'm not going to show too much of Berserk because uh, we're, uh, this video will get taken down. I prefer, I much prefer the red one. But hey, it is what it is. You guys have a great day. Toast your cat out. Holy hell, this is a long video. You guys take care.